Great. Um, right, well, welcome back. We're, uh, we're camping live with the Guy Rope Gourmet and Go Outdoors. Um, and we're here in the Peak District on a glorious sunny day. And I'm just going to rustle up um, a really simple, delicious linguine and pine nut salad. So I've got my pan of water coming to the boil. I'm just going to put some, um, some linguine in there. Like I say, um, pan of boiling water and a good pinch of salt. I'm using, uh, I'm using fresh linguine. The advantage of this is it cooks quicker and you'll obviously use less gas while you're cooking it. It's just fine with dried stuff. Um, just for convenience sake, I'm, uh, I'm just using fresh linguine. Um, and I'm going to put that in there and it will take probably, um, actually let's, let's do the jolly lot, shall we? Um, oh look, we've got some nice green stuff as well. So this will just come to the boil, I'll turn it down to a simmer and just let it do its thing for 10 minutes, um, 15 minutes max. Uh, and then I'll drain it and put it aside. Meanwhile, what I'm going to do is chop up some garlic. Um, I've got about half a dozen cloves here. Not too fine chop this, so I'm going to kind of medium chop the garlic um, into little pieces, about a millimetre square really. So that'll do. You can see they're not too finely chopped. I guess one of the disadvantages of, of, of uh, cooking when you're camping is the hazard of the wind. So we've got a little bit of wind blowing around here. Um, slowing things down a little bit, but we can get over that. You can see it's just starting to come to heat, so in a couple of minutes that's going to turn nice and golden brown is what I'm after. Right, it's just starting to brown up nicely now. There is a point where it will go too late, it's gone black. So I'm going to hedge my bets and turn that off and just tip it out onto uh, couple of pieces of kitchen roll. And then really simple, I'm going to um, dry toast some pine nuts. Again, really easy to burn. There's a, there's a high sugar content in pine nuts. Um, so it's a matter of keeping your eye on it all the time. And again, they will start to brown off um, and that really kind of brings out the flavour. So just going to warm those through. Um, I think whilst I'm at it, I'm going to drain the linguine because it can cool a little bit. It's going to re retain a lot of its heat. Once the um, once the pasta's cooked, you really do want to kind of drain it off um, rather than leave it sitting in the uh, in the hot water. Otherwise, it just will turn um, a little bit soggy. So I've given that a good drain, and I'm going to just turn it back into the pan. Um, and another nice little trick is just drizzle it with olive oil and then I'll stir it through um, and that helps the pasta, well it helps prevent the pasta sticking to itself. And then basically what we're going to do is uh, combine all of our ingredients with some, some fresh rocket, um, fresh rocket leaves and I've got, what have I got in my magic tub? <laughs> We've got some, um, some little, uh, a jar of little peppers which are um, preserved in olive oil. Um, and smell delicious. So the, the linguine is still warm. I want it to cool off just a little bit. Um, otherwise, when I add my, uh, my salad leaves, my rocket leaves, um, they're gonna, gonna wilt really quickly. So I can just leave that to, uh, to cool off. So I've got some lovely yellow peppers. Let's tease a couple of the red ones out. And of course, we'll use some of the, uh, some of the oil that they're uh, they're sitting in to add some flavours. Right, okay, they're gonna burn. So I'll turn that off. The pine nuts are done, they need to cool. Okay, so um, the linguine's cooled a little bit. We've drained all of the, um, all of the liquid off. It's still a little bit hot, but once we start to uh, combine some flavours. And I'm gonna put a little bit of salt in there. Um, a good twist of uh, black pepper. I'll just turn the peppers through the linguine. I shall put a few in. And stir those through. And do the same with the garlic. Which is now cooled. And is absolutely delicious. And then I'm going to add a handful of rocket leaves. Which 
just stir it through. A few more pine nuts on top. Well, there you go. Uh, I've been the Guy Rope Gourmet, camping live in the Peak District. We go outdoors and I'm about to enjoy a uh, toasted pine nut, linguine and rocket salad. <laughs>